crush while I can see our planet crush But as a team we're never crush, never crush you are on me And we can see our friends and families We're taking like a piece Taking and sealing our needs of fight back To victory now that we are one We can show them all how it's done But to do that we got what it takes to show the world we do this battle for us We went from our first act to the third and last Thinking about how we can show our teamwork that is about as good as we remember And we switch the battle back to it's gonna be a total act Together forever we find out what is in our path It seems impossible, but that bad is a raging foe. No one is still saying how to be made. Now that we are one, we can show the all how it's done. But to do that, we got what it takes to show the world because it's well fought. We went from our first act to the third and last Thinking about how we can show our teamwork that is about as good as we remember As we push the battle back to it's gonna be a total act Together forever we find out what is in our path Is coming to a close, but these weapons are complete blows. Watch us in space as we will continue to say today. We went from our first act to the third and last, thinking about how we can show our teamwork that is about as good as we remember. As we push about back to it's gonna be a total act together forever. We find out what is in our path. Our battle is coming to a close, but these weapons are complete blows. Watch us in space as we will continue to say today in our path. Our path. Hey, uh, this is Liam Merles, the owner of Glass Sea Star here. Um, welcome to my first live stream um, on Glass Sea Star. Welcome to the world of Smash Window Cat. I, in Smash's world, things has been very glitchy and very messed up, most likely. Um, if you're not sure of what I'm, if you're not sure of what I mean here, well, I'm gonna be playing the game. Hold on. Alright, um, so, um, this is where it's gonna run down. I am going to, uh, play the game for 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna be talking about the updates for the game, and then after that, I am gonna be talking about, I'm actually gonna be playing 21 minutes of the game in between, but, um, 
basically, I am going to be playing the game until uh, the 20 minutes is up on my phone. And I am going to um, talk about the history about the game. I'm also going to be uh, streaming a video for you about the history behind Smash No Cat. So this will be a fun one. So without further ado, let's play some Smash. And also, uh, just a spoiler alert, there are some story stuff that is in the game. So do not watch this video. If you're gonna get spoiled, if you're if you don't want to be spoiled, exit out this live stream. But um, but anyway, the live stream will be on probably on YouTube. Like um, like I'm gonna be uh, uploading this whole stream that's exclusive to Facebook onto YouTube. But anyway, let's play some Smash Little Cat. All right, so we're in the game. Hold on, let me minimize something. Okay, let's see. Press center. New game. So, the whole story starts off with Dr. Glusher appearing out of nowhere and uh, stealing, uh, kidnapping his girlfriend named Ava Rachel Cat. Uh, Smash of a Cat is being blown off to the nowhere village and he wakes up later in the game, and he has to stop Dr. Glitch from taking over the world. Let's play the game. So it's spacebar or X to jump. Now, if you see here, this is, will be a story element of the game. This will jump here that I'm going to hit will be later explained in the story. So let's begin. Oh, and also, uh, if you press enter, you pause the game, and there's a save feature, so if you press X, it'll save the game for you. So, um, yeah, I'm saving it right now. Oh, I almost died here. Alright, so, see these instructions here? Well, you gotta hold spacebar or X to jump, to do a wall jump like that. You can even do wall jumps like, um, like, so much at Mega Man X, like, you can, like, go, like, right there, like that. And I press Z the punch, and there are some pretty good, not good, pretty bad, um, uh, bugs in the game, but I'm gonna fix them in the future. But, for right now, this is what you kinda get so far until August 24th or 31st, when I have released my second patch and my 33rd patch, um, third patch for the game, respectively. Um, so if you see these vines, just um, jump on them, press the down arrow key to just let go of it. There we go. And these are basically the instructions for the game. There are other characters in the game that I'll go over soon, so anyway. Ah, dang it. Oh dang it, I died. And the good thing about this game is that it doesn't have a lives feature. I was gonna add live features in the game, but because of the checkpoints and stuff, and it's becoming pretty glitchy, so let's roll with it. Anyway. Oop, I missed. There we go. Oh hey, I gotta turn on my timer, hold on. There we go. There's your first boss. Right away. So here we go. I'm just gonna keep on. Yeah, the first boss is kinda easy. Unless if you're not paying attention to your punches. Uh, and then you die, but... Anyway, this is the second level. I keep playing until my time runs up. Oh, I'm dead. There we go. That's it. There we go. There we go. 
Ow. Yeah, there's another bug I have to iron out though. Respawn enemies can be a little bit too much, so anyway. I will uh, fix these bugs as I go on with the updates, but for now, this is kind of what we are getting so far. Until all the sprites are updated, like for Smash and a few other things. Anyway, this is our second boss. I'm also add adding like new music for Act 1, which is going to get replaced with this music. Okay, this is our third level. Which is will be in the first update for the game. There we go. Dang it. Suck with this shooting guy. Now there's a cheat that you can do. Which if you don't like, I will fix, but you can just go like that, hit the enemy, and then hit the checkpoint. I'm gonna go ahead and try to save this. There's a little bug in the pause menu that will crash a game, but Okay, that's good. That's that's really good. Um there's like some bugs that I had to iron out in the game, but hopefully I can fix them as soon as possible. So, yeah, let's keep dying around here. Ow. <laughs> Alright. So let's, there we go, do the same technique, boom. I'm gonna save the game right here, so I don't have any problems. And if I do, I'll just pause the stream and Hopefully, I'll get back to you guys. Ow. Yeah, you see, this is why this game is challenging. This is uh, supposed to be like a throwback to 80s and 90s games. And... There we go. Now, uh, just a fair warning, um, this next level will maybe cause, if you have epilepsy of seizures, um, just uh, don't look at the level and uh, just roll with it. I mean, it's probably not skippable yet, but I probably might if there's any controversy or something, but anyway, let's... Yeah, as you can see, this is the fourth level. It's called Glitch House, where everything is glitchy because Dr. Glitcher um, glitched up part of Smash's world, so like he has to get out of it. Ow. There we go. Oh, and there's another bug right here. Like, see right here what the health bar is? Hold on. The health bar was right there, but it's like getting hit by these textures, so let's move on. Again, I will fix everything with updates. I'll keep it, keep the responses frequently, and uh, yeah. Oh, ah, oh, dang, I missed that checkpoint.
Alright, this is at least the uh, third section, which is basically means that it's the final section of the level in Act 1. So, let's go. No, shoot me. There we go. Get down. There we go. Ow. There we go. Just keep getting out. One of these soldiers will bring you to the next cutscene. Alright, so this is where he finally meets Dr. Glitchers in his castle. Um. There we go. Now the the last boss in Act One is very hard, so I'm gonna keep my patience because if you die on by falling in uh, the third phase boss in uh, this act, um, it brings you like back to the last checkpoint. So yeah. Ooh, see, there's that glitch. Oh, and it breaks me back to the checkpoint. That's something I gotta fix. Anyway, let's save it right here, just in case anything goes wrong. Oops, see, it happened again. Maybe I should just, um, not press the arrow keys too much, because, um, that's what's gonna happen. If you press both at the same time, sometimes it will just do that. There we go. Got out of here alive. It even happens when you try to punch and go left and right, wiggling the arrow keys and whatever, but... Again, it's gonna get fixed. I really do hope I can fix it. I just haven't seen the reason why. But... There we go. First phase boss, here we go. Now this is pretty easy, as long as you know what to do. Now this second boss here is called the Glitcher Fent Boss. Or Glitcher Fent Bot. And this is the Glitcher Bot, right here. So let's see. There are no fade transitions, but I hope that I can get them working. They did work in Game Maker 7 and 8, but not here. Not in Game Maker Studio 1.4. Let's go. Right now. There we go. Now these types of chase scenes kind of make me want to scratch my own head. Like, I get a little itchy. Um, anyway. Dang it, I... Ah, oh, dang it. Let's see. Don't fall. Oh, there we go. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. There we go. Now this is our evacuation level. Where Smash has to get out because the robot um, got destroyed or something. So, let's see. There we go. And it's timed right here. Like, under the health bar somewhere, it's your time. So, you gotta make it out of here in 90 seconds from this first checkpoint. So you can't waste any time, otherwise you get a game over, and you have to start back from the beginning of, of um, Dr. Glitch's castle, which is the fifth stage. <sighs> that... Dang it. 
Okay, I cannot waste any more energy time. Let's see. Save. Gotta save as I go here. Oh, see? I don't have a quitting feature here, so I like, have to click the X because it's not full screen yet, but... If you want full screen, let me know. Come on. Dying here. <laughs> Dang it. <sighs> ah, dang it. Almost had it. There we go. Come on. coming our way. Dang it, I did it too early. I did the wall jump thing too early. See, that's like the beauty of the game. It's like the wall jumps are so similar that it does work. Ow. Dang it. Alright. Ow. Oh no! Ah, dang it, so close. There we go. See, I'm a little bit of a pro at this right now. Because this game takes patience. There we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. <sighs> Too many enemies. I uh, noticed that one. And there we go, end of Act 1. Now the scene here is where Smash tries to re rescue, well, he rescues uh, Ava, Rachel Cat, which is his girlfriend. Uh, he tries to wake her up, and it succeeds. So, yeah. Dr. Glitcher has another plan to stop the world. Oh, and that's my time, but I'll show you the ending of Act 1. Um, so let's see here. Um, yeah, he... He, um, tries to plan on a new castle and a new, uh, weapon. So, um, yeah, this is kind of cool. There's a zoom. There is, um, well, Ava, Rachel Cat, um, sorry about that. Uh, Ava, Rachel Cat decides to set her up for training, like, so she can battle, and uh, this is Act 2. I'm going to save it right here because I will load the game later. Um, actually, I'm not going to risk it right now. Um, should I risk it? Nah. I could, I could turn off the desktop audio. Oh, let's see. Alright, so uh, now I'm here. Hello there. Um, let's see. 
we're going to be talking about new updates. Alright, let me pull uh, one out. Um, so basically the updates go like this. Version 1.2.1, which will be released next week, has updated playable character sprites except for Smash's parents, which are also playable characters. It's only available for Smash, Ringtail Cat, Ava Ringtail Cat, Bash Red Panda, and um, Dasher Pong or Antelope. That's one of the additional characters, and Collector Logger has strike another additional character. So that's five characters that are going to get updated. So, um, hopefully I can uh, do well with these updates. I, I hope that this game really does succeed as a free-to-play game. So, anyway. <laughs> I like the music here. I turn off the desktop audio with this streaming thing, so... Anyway, let's uh, not talk about any more updates right now. Um, set my timer. 20 minutes. Let's go. Oh, hey, I got a transition. There we go. There we go. There's my cursor. Now with Ava, you can actually um, use your kick standardly, but you can also use kick and then opposite you can like um, do uh, a little spin kick you can hit down to use cartwheel you can go like to right or whatever direction you face and you can go faster and you can do like two cool tricks too like this there we go um and hit down and Z to attack brings your brings your spin kick like a little twirl kick or something and uh, if you want to jump really high, hold on, let me just die around here. Really? <laughs> really? Alright, let me exit out this game and open it back up and see what happens. Actually, no, I'm not going to risk that. That was my fault, guys. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> but I should be a pro at this. And yeah, so music does play. I should iron out a lot of these glitches soon. I... Really haven't played it all the way through, like with me dying there. <laughs> so, it's it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Ooh, <sighs> there we go. That was close. I survived that. Okay, after this one. Ah. Uh, uh. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Skip all that. Now, as I was trying to say, you could like use a higher jump by clicking down and then jump. Like, you can like skip a lot of enemies here. Nope, I am not dying there again. Yeah, let the enemy pass. Oh, wait. There we go. Finally, a checkpoint, and I got Smash with me. So, hold on. Let me mend myself. In. There we go. Save the game. Uh, excuse me. Now this is where the levels get a little bit more longer because of its width and size. Ugh. Okay, come on. Alright, let's see. Put down. Uh, just take care of some of the enemies. There we go. Now there's Collector. 
it's very simple controls. You can like use X to keep jumping, like flying. There we go. Oh, and also, if you want to reset the game, like, not reset the game, but a section of a level, press R, and you'll be resetting the level of the section or something. So, let's see. There we go. Oh, and there's no checkpoint there, so if I die, it doesn't bring me back to Act 1. It brings me back to uh, the last checkpoint that I just touched. So, let's see. There we go, we got a cutscene right here where Ava fights Dr. Glitcher. Oh, and also in Act 2, it's where the music improves, so you get a nice thing with that. Even Act 3 and 4, so... Come on. There we go. Just keep attacking him, and there we go. Back to Smash. Now, I know there's no checkpoints there, but let's see. Save. Okay, this is where it gets really challenging. You got higher level. Um, width of the room, so let's see if I could just get this beat. Oh, there we go. Just do a cheat. You could go checkpoint and just do that. Yeah, this is the section where it's gonna keep a lot of people from trouble. Um, keep a lot of people in trouble or whatever I had to say. There we go. Like, see? You gotta have to wall jump in that thing and now I'm gonna keep falling. There we go. The game is a little laggy, probably because I'm streaming this, but, um, I'm streaming the gameplay, but, um, it could happen technically, but, let's see. Oh, thank God I made it, this, uh, how many many tries I tried with this. <laughs> there we go. Last section. It's a little tricky because you kind of have to jump at some precise movement. There we go. You need a precise jump. So, there we go.
Okay, I gotta go to the left. There we go. And then there's the boss for Act 2. Just keep destroying Dr. Glitcher. The glitch boxes doesn't hurt him this time for some reason. And then you have the timer from Act 1, and uh, you just keep hitting Dr. Butcher before the 90 seconds runs out. Alright, and then there's Batch Red Panda's supposed introduction. And then in, there's a little fighting thing. See, he takes a lot of damage to you, so... And the uh, timer where it used to be is now uh, health bar for, for Bash Red Panda as they keep fighting him. Here we go, I got myself full health. And then, we get to the part where Bash got saved by Smash. He takes him to his thing called the Home Point, and... He has a glitch virus. Bash Red Panda has a glitch virus. So, it's made by familiar glitch that turns good guys to bad guys. Then, uh, Bash teams up with Smash. Let me save that. Now, to change your character, it's a little glitchy at the moment, but right now, you can just hit Shift key to just switch your character. Okay, I got. I'm just gonna use Smash for this one. Actually, there we go. Sorry if there was a glitch, um, let me check something. Hold on. Should still resume. Hold on. I'm just checking something. If you're seeing this, then yeah. I'm I'm just checking to see if the stream still works. Oh, okay, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Okay. I'm still alive, so never mind that. Oh, let me save right here. Um, Let me check something again. Okay, I'm I'm still here. Okay. I'm just gonna keep this thing up every time I get disconnected. Uh let's see. Oh yeah, and with Bash Red Panda, if you just hold um jump and use that, you get a flying kick technique. 
and press it again to just do a flying kick. And use just Z to punch. There we go. And then we got back to Smash. Ah, uh, dang it. This is the part where I'll have trouble. <laughs> there we go. Lucky. Dang it, the time is just right. <laughs> there we go. Dang it. Oh yeah, and the floor strike right here can do a little clipping. Just jump over that, but I'll fix it soon. Oh, come on. Dang it, I missed. Come on. How much time do I have left at the end? Two minutes and 46 seconds. Alright. There we go, finally. Just do that. And then you have another tag team boss battle. Dang it, I, I didn't do a hit detection with that, but that's okay.
There we go. Dr. Clutcher solves from a castle. There we go. There we go. Alright, All right, my time is going to run out, but... If I beat this section at least, then I'll just move on. Let me see. Alright, save, get rid of that, alright, let's turn off this desktop audio, oh, oh dang it, I, I didn't mean to do that guys, I accidentally played the game while the desktop audio was off, I am sorry, but, whatever, everyone makes mistakes, <laughs> um, desktop audio is off, Anyway, so let's transition. Boom. There we go. Then we go to the video. Um, okay, so um, if you don't know what the history behind the game is, well, here it is. Let's take a look. A world has been glitched. Only one would have to save the entire universe. Coming soon, the ultimate glitch annihilator has arrived. Smash Breakdown Match. This is Smash, a ranked tail cat character inspired by an animal species some people has never heard of before. In Smash's world, things have been very glitchy and very messed up. That's all thanks to our main villain, Dr. Glitcher. Dr. Glitcher is our main villain in the game. He has a plan to make some evil ultimate weapons with one that will glitch up the entire world. Smash the Cat is an action side scrolling platform adventure game with mechanics similar to classic decade old games such as Ninja Gaiden and Mega Man. The whole idea started around 2013 to be a Super Smash Bros. clone, but of course, that all changed in 2017 where all the planning for the game has begun. Smash is equipped with a punch mechanic, similar to the sword from 1988's Ninja Gaiden, but the wall jump mechanic that combines the mechanics of so many other games, including 1999's Mega Man X. Don't play around the, with the glitches, be the ultimate glitch annihilator. Smash the Cat is coming soon to all playable Windows PCs worldwide. Sometime soon.
Alright, uh, sorry if it's a little, little delay. I was looking at the feedback I've been getting. Um, anyway, um, that's the history behind Smash Up Cat. I basically, um, I, um, made this game back in 2013 to be a Super Smash Bros. clone, but then I changed my mind in 2017, and here it is. So, anyway, let's get back to the game. Let me go back here and turn the desktop audio on this time. There we go, finally. Oh, um, let me do some real quick. There. Alright, let's get back in the game. Now I have the desktop audio on. And I think I'm gonna play this game until I beat it because um, I'm a little close to the game. And uh... oh, there's your boss. Oh, let me reset that because it's music glitch. Um... But um, yeah. Um... There's. Dasher. Oh, he ran away. Let's see. Yeah, there are some glitches, but... There we go. I just gotta do that. There we go. And there's a cutscene. Smash tries to stop Dr. Glitcher and then he fails, but then Smash's parents came along and um, cured uh, the Glitch virus that was in him with the, some sort of anecdote that his mother actually did. So um, then they give you an explanation about the three gems, which are known as the Hulsuki of Power. And Hulsuki is basically Japanese or Jam for some reason. So, um, yeah. Alright, and then we go to uh, our final act. A little shorter, but. But there are like a few parts in the game where you can play as the characters that you saved, including yourself, so. Which is Smash, by the way. Um, it's a little difficult, but with the patience, you can probably beat this pretty well. Big in. go. Oh, and if you don't know why these uh, platforms are different than the ones on the rest, it means that it had some sort of glitching thing going on, which uh, going back in time or something, so... Dang it! Oh, dang it. There's another glitch I have to iron out, because if I die with a lot of the health, it doesn't bring you back to the checkpoint sometimes. You can see there's a glitchy mess. I could always reset the game if I want. Like right now. Oh, dang it! Yeah, let me... Sorry about the music glitching. My... I fixed this in the layer version, don't worry. Let me turn that off, because it's going to get annoying. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, this is annoying to me. <laughs> Alright.
You guys can still hear me though, right? <laughs> Alright. That was very weird. That should never happen. <laughs> I think I I, bleh, I think it should um, clear out by the time we get to the next level. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Much better. Let me turn that back on. Oh, and I'm about to get hit, but that's okay. Go. Now to attack, you just keep walking to the right, and the left just brings it backwards. Just jump and jump, hitting enemies along your way. Alright, and then we got 50 seconds now on the castle stage. Oh, I glitched. There we go, that works. Let me save it right here. I might be able to finish this game today, so... Yeah. And there we go for Smash's parents. Um, this is his mom, which is a playable character. They're a little shorter, but yeah. There we go. Now it's him. Uh, it smashes dad. Okay, it's a little glitchy at the moment, but you can just um hitting uh, some random bone combinations and do this. Just like a side attack. Alright, so this is like the last cutscene for the second to last cutscene. So this is where he goes to space with the Husky of Power and We are in space, this is his ultimate weapon. If you don't know what it is, it's basically designed in 2013 with my first version. But um, I basically made like a little Lego set of random creations and I made it to that. <laughs> so, let's see. And then we have Smash with his uh, spacesuit um, shooting thing. Shoot that. And there's an Astro stage, but uh, it's all glitched at the moment. Oh, wait, I can do it now. <laughs> Alright, so this is an Astro stage. You gotta dash. Nah, dash. Dodge asteroids. And there we go. Because if you touch one of the asteroids, it brings you back to phase one of the final boss. So here's your cutscene. Now it's gonna load up after the last slide because it's an MP3 file, file playing, but here. Yeah. He has to find his friends, which ends up successfully, as you can see, right about now, I guess. Is it now? Okay, that is your credits. Um...
the song is called In Our Path, and uh, it's a free download. Aw, uh, dang it, I messed up! <sighs> Shoot. This is what I feel about Rush while I can Oh, well, we can... I find it Rush, but I still see we're never I always wish I could still hear the song, even though. Know. And we can see our friends and families we are taken by the peace. There's a lot of glitches I had to iron out, but this will be alright. I have not realized this, guys, but... There we go, dash dodging asteroids. Which should... There we go. Alright, let's do this for real. Okay, thank god. <laughs> I think it's because of this one speedy glitch. There we go, he's... he finds Ava Rainbow Cat right here. And then, you get your final credits. And then, there's your, uh, ending. This is what I feel about Alright guys! I can see our planet crush, but as a team we're never pushed. So, never it says thank you for playing, and then, your intro. Alright! That is it for our live stream, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, special account releases today. You can go on gameshow.com and type in Smash Rito Cat, and you'll find the game and you can download it for free. Also, follow the game as well on gameshow.com. So, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.